Okay, today I just want to go over linking an Excel file. It's, it's pretty simple. First, let's open up an Excel file. And just put some random data in there. We'll just open a blank workbook. We'll just put whatever you prefer. And just save the file. Doesn't need to be anything specific, just wherever you'll remember. I'm gonna put it on my desktop in a file. I made specific for this. Doesn't need a specific name or anything. And just exit out of it and we'll go back to AutoCAD. And then in the table tab, which yours may look different because of the screen size, it's just shrunk. Shrunk them into little tabs. So, but from there, go into the tables and then we want to link that data. So, press the link data tab and then from there, press create a new Excel data link. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it link. And then press OK. We won't go over path types, but full path is fine. Uh, so it's relative. Um, but let's browse for a file. And just go to where you, you uh, saved it at and just press it and press open. And from there, just press all right, or press OK, and and I apologize. It's just computer's a little bit laggy, and from there, press OK again. And now when we want to import our table, what we do is we go into the table tab and we press table. And then we come down into the dialog box and we just press under insert options from a data link and then our new one, mine link, whatever you happen to call it just press it from there and then you can press OK and it'll generate that file so you can import it in there and you can scale it to whatever size you want so there's that data and you it's pretty cool. You can get into the boxes, unlock the boxes, and then edit the data specifically in AutoCAD, and then update it to your Excel file. So I can edit text. And then come in here and press upload to source. And you just select your Excel file. Press enter. And it'll save over to the existing link to Excel file that you have. So that's nice. And it has changed because it saved over itself. It went into the Excel file, saved the new Excel file, which in a sense made a new 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 file. So it uh, expects a change which it, it, all it's doing is updating the change you have updated to it so now if we take a look at our excel file we'll see the change there and then we're also going to make a change in the excel file itself 
and we can see that it changes to 121, which is cool, so it can overwrite itself from the CAD file without ever, ha ever ha having, having to uh, open the file. So we can take all this stuff and put random numbers, characters into it. And just save it with your updated information. It just works the same way as an XREF file. I mean, any change that was made outside of it, it'll just down in the right corner give you a uh, little uh, just notification saying there's a data data links have been changed, and you can just do update all tables using this data, these data links. It'll do for you. And there you go, all the data is updated. So this is nice because sometimes the AutoCAD uh, tables don't work as smooth as, as Excel. So you can go in this Excel file, do all your specific changes, and do it with ease with an Excel. And you don't have to worry. Um, about having to import or copy into a, a new one. It's all linked so it automatically updates into the CAD file itself. So it's nice also for when you have other people like engineers that don't specifically work with AutoCAD. They can update the files themselves with just using Excel and then next time the CAD file is open it can be updated by the link. So that's it. Thanks for uh, watching.